Welcome to this video tutorial on the topic of prime print solution. This video demonstrates the workflow to create a CEREC guide. We will run through the CEREC software up to the InLab CAM software. We start in the administration phase and select the indication CEREC guide. In the window under restoration type, the check mark for prosthetic planning is already placed. Below prime print can be enabled from the print device selection. Next, we tap on the corresponding tooth position in the odontogram and move on to the next phase, the acquisition phase. In this phase, we perform three scans. The lower jaw image catalog is a mandatory catalog, which is indicated by the question mark and the asterisk. The upper jaw and buccal image catalogs are optional. In order to obtain a functional position of the prosthetic planning for the later implant planning, it is advantageous to also scan the opposing jaw and the buccal image catalog. For information on how to perform scans, please see our video tutorials with the following title, Full Jaw Scan or Partial Scan with Prime Scan. For our case, we perform all three scans and proceed with the model phase. All steps of the model phase are performed automatically by the CEREC software. Modifications can be performed if needed. In our case, we switch directly to the next phase, the design phase. Now we see the initial design proposal of the CEREC software. The prosthetic planning can be modified with the tool palette and is transferred with the export data into the CCAT implant software. There it is used for optimal planning of the implant position in relation to the prosthetics. We take a look at the prosthetic planning and proceed with the next step, Export Import. In the window under Tools, we click the Export Planning Data button, which opens the Export Case window. Here you select the appropriate storage location for the transfer of the planning data. This can be a connected storage medium or a data transfer folder in your own network. In our case, the exported data is imported into the CCAT implant software, so we need the file format SIXD. If you want to export to Galileo's implant, you have to select the file format SSI via the drop-down menu. We click on Export and would normally proceed with the Sedexis 4 software. Since this video focuses on the workflow from the CEREC software up to the InLab CAM software, we skip the implant planning part in the CCAT implant software. Detailed information about implant planning is available in Part 2 of a tutorial series on the topic of Digital Chairside Implant Workflow. After concluding the planning, we import the CMG DXD file format into the CEREC software. In our case, we are planning a CEREC Guide 3. The design workflow for a CEREC Guide 2 is the same. By tapping the next step, Edit CEREC Guide, a design proposal of the surgical guide is displayed automatically. The surgical guide includes two adjacent teeth, mesial and distal respectively, if present. In this step, you have three tools at your disposal. First, we take a look at the proposal. The surgical guide sleeve is colored in red, as can be easily seen. Because this is a warning indicating a narrow situation, we will come back to it later in the video. First of all, we enable the Adapt Seating Area tool. Here, three options are available. The option Select allows you to mark complete areas and lengthen or shorten the surgical guide seating area. For our demonstration, we extend in the mesial direction. Starting at the surgical guide, we mark the area to be lengthened either by holding the left mouse button down or via the touch function. By tapping Apply, the surgical guide is extended. We switch to the last option. Remove. This tool allows you to remove areas in a circular manner. The radius can additionally be adjusted with the slider. For demonstration purposes, we will slightly reduce the surgical guide.
by confirming with Apply, the guide will be shortened by this area. Next, we switch to the Adapt Support Geometry tool. The slider allows you to decrease or increase the support geometry radius. As an alternative, we tap the support geometry so that it will be enabled and we can then make modifications via the touch function. The last tool in this step allows you to place inspection windows. To begin with, we place two windows proximal to the surgical guide sleeve respectively. This can be of advantage in narrow spaces. In our case, this has made the warning disappear. An additional window in the premolar area helps with checking the final seat of the surgical guide in the patient's mouth. Now we move on to the next step, finalize. Again, there are three tools available here. With the form tool, you have the option of adding, smoothing, or removing material in certain areas of the surgical guide. The size and strength of the tool can be adjusted using the sliders. We move on with the next option, Cut. This tool allows for final shortening of the surgical guide. For demonstration purposes, we place a centered cutting edge on one of the front teeth. We start with a double click and place the cutting edge with an additional double click. This cutting edge provides another opportunity to review the final position of the surgical guide inside the patient's mouth. When enabling the third tool, it is possible to have the guide recalculated if necessary. Before moving to the last phase, the manufacture phase, we will look at another CEREC guide case with multiple implant positions. This is a case involving a more complex implant planning, with four implants in the lower jaw. With a print process in prime print, all implant positions can be covered with one guide. Now we will proceed with our first case in the manufacture phase. In this phase, we look at our surgical guide again and have selected the Export to InLab Cam to transmit the surgical guide. Provided that the InLab Cam software has access to the same drive as the CEREC software, the data will be directly transmitted to the cam. If this is not the case, the data can be imported in the InLab Cam software with a storage medium. After the InLab Cam software is opened, all cases previously transmitted are displayed and the CEREC guide job is already selected. Here we can either select the so-called fast track by tapping the double arrow or we can switch to the next phase, the arrange phase. Fast track will take you directly to the last phase, produce. In this case, the InLab Cam software automatically positions and orients the print object on the build platform and also defines the support structure automatically. Detailed information about the InLab Cam software can be found in a different video tutorial. We click on the double arrow and can finally modify the detail level in the window under Production Options and analyze the print object with the Analyzing Tools. To start printing, we tap the green area labeled Start Production. Thank you very much for your attention. We would like to wish you every success when working with Prime Print Solution.